Hi homeschoolers, it's me Jazz again from Hidden Library Homeschool and I'm back with another video and this one I'm going to show you my fall haul of some of the things that I've picked up in the past couple of months. So I'm making an effort trying to just buy things that I'm actually going to use that we're planning to use and not just things just because they're shiny and new and oh that looks fun to buy so I'm trying not to do that. So everything here we are actually using and has a purpose. So most of the stuff that I'm actually going to show you right now is from the Dollar Tree. The first two things are from Aldi's though. These books I was looking for at different places but I actually saw these at Dollar at Aldi's and thought that they would work out for what I wanted. So this is You Can Draw Over 80 Cool Drawings to Master and this was only five dollars. I do have a lot of the drawing books from the Dollar Tree. They're little books on different topics and everything like sea creatures and whatnot. But once you use them, because it is a consumable book, you draw in it, then it kind of just feels used if you go back to it and um, use it again. And he he doesn't really do that, Tony doesn't do that. So I thought it'd be nice to have books that just show how to draw and he can use his own paper and it won't feel as consumable as some of the other books that he has. So here are the, I don't know if you can read that, sections. It has insects, cartoon characters, cars, wild animals, sea creatures, and pets. And in this one, it's a lot more um, basic drawing. But these are going to go on our shelf and he'll be able to look back at them. The reason I bought those was because a lot of times when we're going over history, science, even when we're doing our literature and he's listening to a story, he's always drawing what he is listening to within school. So I thought it'd be fun to have a book that can, you know, kind of give him tips on how to draw these things. And this book is 501 Things for the Quick Draw Kid. And this is the one I really wanted. Of uh, There's four books there um, at Aldi's right now, drawing books, but these are the two I really wanted. And this one has Action Pack, Time Warped, uh, Seven Seas, Out of This World, Amazing Animals, The Basics of Drawing. And I really wanted this one for the Time Warp section because it shows things um, how to draw things that we're talking about in history and science. And not only does it um, show you how to draw it, it does give you a little bit of information on um, the background of what it is that you're drawing. So it's not just, oh, here's how you draw it. Like I've seen a lot of other books do. It's giving you um, a little bit more information. So I think he's gonna enjoy these. Uh, when we're talking about, um, let's see, there was something I wanted to show you and I can't find it, but, but so I think he's going to enjoy these and these are going to go on our shelf. Uh, the next up I have is from Dollar Tree and we picked up these books for my, um, preschooler for Bruce. He loves looking through these while the other boys are doing school and they actually have a CD in the front that I haven't taken any of them that out and listen to them but he loves the pictures so I have um, second grade workbook test prep math and language arts and we've used this for time to, from time to time on days where so, when either I or um, when I'm sick or he's sick and we want something lighter we do do maybe just a page in here on the language arts and the math section to kind of just you know keep our minds going but not um, exert ourselves too much on a day that we're sick I also have for my preschoolers these right here and the one that we've been using isn't here. There's a book on colors that we've actually been using a lot in the past couple of days. And then I also have these books. These have stickers and they love these books. They, you know, at that age, three, four, they love putting stickers on everything. And um, for Tony again, I picked up these two books on addition and subtraction. We've been using this as just a little bit of extra practice with math. And he's actually has like a page left in both of those. I have the next one for um, multiplication and division. We haven't looked into these too much, but in our math, we're getting into that. So if he needs extra practice, at least I have those available. For the younger ones, again, I have some of these Crayola books on, you know, your typical preschool, pre-K topics, and they love having their own workbooks. We don't do workbooks every day, but they do like being able to do, you know, big boy school or what they feel like is big boy school, like their older brother. 
And then I have a couple of things in this basket here. <laughs> Let's move this stuff over. I did pick up some of these um, pointers because as you can see behind me, we have um, posters all over the place and some of them go pretty high. So I thought it'd be cool to have the pointers that they can use. Let me take this stuff out of here. I picked up another chalkboard. We have one already, but mess upside down. And here I go again, <laughs> just like in my other video, my mouth is so dry from talking now. <laughs> Um, a chalkboard because I have one but you know if you have one the other one's gonna want it so you know for a dollar I picked that up and then I have some of these books here on different animals I already have a couple on my shelf most of those I've gotten free at HEB one of our local stores here in Texas uh, a lot of times they'll have a deal if you buy this that, or the other thing then get a free book and I have some of these we didn't have but they love flipping through these when we are um, say Tony is learning about something and you know Tony's learning about reptiles and they want to look at a book about that too so they kind of feel like they are um into the topic too even though they're just kind of you know listening but yes they are picking things up too and I picked up two packs of this computer paper but I'm not going to use it for the computer they steal my computer paper <laughs> and then I'm looking for it when I actually need to print school stuff out. So I buy this for them and it's set aside and then I know it is theirs because it has, you know, little designs on it and we have other ones um, there, but it has designs on it. So I know that they're drawing on, you know, their approved paper and not on my paper that I need to uh, use for <laughs> other things. I have a couple of these wheels. I have one on the life cycle of butterflies and we'll definitely be using that when we go over insects. I have one on the continents, I have one on the solar system, and then we're going to be getting into, since we're doing life science this year, we're obviously going to be talking about animals. So I picked up this game that I thought would be fun to do when we talk about animals, and it's uh, What Animal Am I card game, and you, you know, put the thing in your head and uh, you guess who you are. For the little boys, again. I have two of these little house books. This is a house kit and I thought that they would have um, fun working with this. They like little projects to, you know, kind of feel like they're, like I said before, doing what we're doing. And we will be going over farms and this has um, uh, farm animal stickers and cutouts. And then this one is Knight's Castle Kit. And of course, they will love this when we, <laughs> when we talk about like fairy tales and things like that. I picked up these posters. So it's kind of a set of smaller posters on punctuation. I don't know if you can see that without glare. And then I also have picked these up. The um, These are gel pens, um, silver and gold. And the reason I got these is because when I was looking over putting their books together in order to go over the colors, I realized I didn't have anything in those colors in order to, because I was writing, you know, the word red in red and the word green in green, but I didn't have those colors. So I got those so that they can use those and um, color and recognize that one. And then the last thing I picked up was actually two of these. And these are, um, says educational resources, and this is the different continents. And I picked up two because I thought we'd have one that we can kind of, you know, have on hand and manipulate and, you know, put it around, like, so they can see firsthand what the different continents look like. And the other one I wanted to put up on my wall, but <laughs> that has not worked out. I don't know if I can, um, well, let's see if we can get up there. Uh, uh, okay, that's not a good shot at all, but... The, <laughs> I was trying to put it up on my shelf and you know make it look like the world but it wasn't working out because up there it's um where Africa and um Spain like where Morocco and Spain are supposed to meet up doesn't meet up if you want to then meet up the Arabian Peninsula over to Egypt and then get you know the rest of Asia onto Europe to make Eurasia and connect the three continents or like place them puzzle place them where you wanted them to be <laughs> it does not work out so it's obviously not meant to go on the wall just in case anybody else is wondering you can't put it up like that it does not fit 
perfectly. So I'm going to have to find something else to put on the wall, but we'll definitely still be using them when we go over different continents so that they, you know, can kind of see, well, this is Antarctica and this is Africa, but you pretty much have to look at it separately because <laughs> it will not fit together like a jigsaw puzzle. So that is all that I have for this um, homeschool haul and some of the stuff um, we've already started using. The rest of the stuff already has a plan. So I'm going to try to stick to that, this, you know, from here on out, buying things like, oh, have to use it and not buy it. Well, I'll find a use for it later. <laughs> it's like, no, I need a use for it before I buy it. But thanks for checking this video out from Hidden Library Homeschool. Please like, comment, subscribe below. Bye.